Hello everyone, and welcome to my Sister Wives 4E channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. When Mary Brown became his second legal wife in 2014, who was responsible for paying for their divorce. Stars of Sister Wives Cody and Mary Brown. She happily wore this title for 24 years, but she gave it up for what appeared to be a noble cause. Who then paid the money in the end? Who financed the divorce of Cody and Mary Brown, the sister wives? Following their 1990 wedding, Cody and Mary Brown seemed to be happy together. She was the only spouse he had by law. He experienced spiritual unions with Janelle Brown in 1993 and Christine Brown the following year. In 2010, he eventually met Robin Brown, who would become his fourth wife. Their relationship was not just spiritual, but also incredibly opulent. Janelle and Christine conversed briefly, but Robin's joy was intense. Mary and Cody separated in 2014, but at the time, it wasn't because the Sister Wise cast members weren't content with each other. They stated that the reason was so he could wed Robin and take in her three adopted children from her first marriage, who then covered the costs of the divorce, since it was a favor for both Robin and Cody, one would assume it would be Cody. The truth has now been exposed in a Reddit discussion that was started. The register of actions shows that Mary was the one who covered the cost of the divorce. Were other Redditors taken aback by this knowledge, or was it to be expected? It did seem like he and Robin made money from his three now ex-wives. Sister wives would cease to exist without each of them, their tales and their connections. What was the response then, upon discovering this knowledge? Why don't I find this surprising? When they go out to eat, he's probably the kind to leave his wallet at home so he can avoid making the payment. Whoa. Cody is a real hopeless person. I wish I had been taken by surprise. What money, after all, was Cody going to spend that wasn't Mary's? Cody does not generate his own revenue. He's a loser and a total prick by myself right now. After that, Mary Brown remained faithful to Cody Brown for nearly 10 years. She stayed married to him spiritually till she eventually received the news that nothing remained. She revealed the qualities she was seeking in a mate in one of the specials. Because of her unusual specificity, many began to think that she might have already found love. She also informed Janelle Brown, her ex-sister wife, that she ought to assist her in getting a divorce. Consequently, it appears that she is moving on to larger and better things and has probably let go of Cody. Surprised that Mary covered the cost of the divorce? Tell us about it and keep watching TLC's Sister Wives Sundays. Supporters of Sister Wives think Mary Brown is working toward Cody and Coyote Passes Justice. Moreover, they think that in a recent talkback episode, she might have hinted at the hand she's playing, what specific statement made by Mary has followers believing that way? Fans of Mary Brown find hope for justice in her well-chosen words. As Robin and Cody sit down to talk about the future of Coyote Pass, Mary Brown acknowledges that she's glad the situation is being documented. One Sister Wives fan noted in Reddit discussions that the word documented was an intriguing choice. Janelle Brown makes it plain during a confessional that she knows Mary's perspective. Janelle believes it's time to get an appraisal done on the entire property. Then, in her opinion, it should be divided equally between the four of them. Janelle Brown disagrees with Cody's apparent assertion that Mary shouldn't be entitled to the same amount of land as other people since she only has one child. Are they pursuing him? Fans make a sound most fans believe that because she used the word documented, she intends to take Coyote Pass's division to court. In general, Reddit users hoped that her deliberate word choice indicated that she was targeting Cody Brown. In addition, supporters wish Janelle goes over him as well. Although fans would also like to see this of Christine, she has moved on after her divorce and remarried. Therefore, she might not be interested in going that way. Do you believe Mary Brown will hire an attorney to pursue legal action against Cody and Robin regarding Coyote Pass? Do you believe she has a right to a reasonable portion of the land? 
Furthermore, during her remarks on the most recent Talk Back program, did you hear her use the word documented? Please share your responses to these queries in the comments section. Additionally, return often for more Sister Wives two news talk back and episodes and the Look Back episode aren't available on streaming services. How can Sister Wives fans view both of them? Since it is evident that they won't be on Max or Discovery Plus, some users have cancelled these services. Are there any other possibilities then? Indeed there are. How can I watch Talk Back on Sister Wives since it's not on Max? Following the conclusion of the four-part Sister Wives revelation, the actors teased more content for this season. There were two other specials in addition to Christine Brown's wedding special. One was called Look Back, in which the actors viewed old video recordings and responded to them. Robin Brown found it difficult to look at her family as they had been. She also noticed a kinship between them, but she wondered if it was real or if her previous sister wives were just acting that way. There were two sections to this. Then there came Talk Back, which was far more innocent and hilarious. Viewers believed that by seeing Robin and Cody's interactions, they were able to learn more about their marriage. Part 2 also had two sections, so Mary brought her best buddy Jen with her. She was a treasure to the audience because, as a voice of reason, she expressed what all the people at home were thinking. The actors of this special watched the first and last episodes of season 18, gave their reactions, and then answered questions and comments from fans. Much to everyone's surprise, these were incredibly well received. Fans are furious, since these Sister Wives programs are regrettably not available for viewing on the premium sites. Nevertheless, there are free ways to watch them available. First off, Sunday, January 7th, is when TLC will play all of the specials before 90 Day Fiance returns. This is due to the fact that that evening's wedding of Christine and David will air, lacking tender loving care. Simple Solution a good movie to watch claims that both YouTube TV and Fubo TV, as well as Fulow, provide a complimentary seven-day trial. Contingent. If you chose one of the Sister Wise specials, even for a week, you can probably catch up because almost all of them are available on demand on these services. We can't promise this, but Sling offers them whenever you want them. Having said that, these ought to resemble those, at least on YouTube TV. If anything, viewers can count on being able to see the specials during the day on Sunday, January 7th on TLC. The final installment of the marathon will air at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Does this make it easier to locate the episodes of Sister Wives? Talk back and look back. Please let us know in the comments section below which service you intend to use. If none of these work, you may always try YouTube, however the quality isn't the finest. It might have a profound impact. Enjoy your viewing. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.